Drag Race fan, this is the Monday Morning Racer. I'm Lee Craft, the host, and recently I was at the Mopar Express Lane NHRA Nationals at Maple Grove Raceway just outside of Reading, Pennsylvania. And for Q3 and Q4 Saturday Nitro action, I got some behind-the-scenes footage with Paul Weiss racing in their Nitro funny car, the New Englander. Now, I want you to know, this small team, yes, they might not be Don Schumacher Racing, they might not be John Force Racing, but I am glad, frankly, that they're not. Why? Because for you as the drag racing fan, it avails to you opportunities that you're not going to get with those bigger teams. What do I mean? Well, for example, for $100, you can get your name on the back of the car and for that $100, it's not just supporting the team, it gives you hospitality access that I don't think even the big teams really give to fans. Here's the experience. You get to go into the pits. You get to meet and greet with the driver and team and owner. You're able to have food and drink right there in the pits, be right close to the car during warm-up, experience what it's like to be on a nitro crew. And if you're not careful, the owner might even just put some cleaning stuff in your hand and a rag, and you're wiping down the funny car body before it goes and makes qualifying runs. You just might even get some starting line access. It's possible. You can do that with this team. Not only that, you can support this team by buying a t-shirt. They have a pretty cool t-shirt. It's got the name of the team on the front and on the back. It's got a saying that says, you can't buy happiness, but you can buy nitromethane. And that's pretty close. And I agree. And I agree. A day with some nitro is a pretty good day. For those of you that have a small business, this team has some great packages from entry level to major that you can get your name on this funny car. Folks, there's not too many teams like this anymore that will give great fan interaction, opportunity to be a part of the team, and experience drag racing like this. I'm not sure of an, any other team doing this in the pits. So, if you would please, go into the description box of this video. Follow the links to learn more about Paul Weiss Racing and the New Englander and the packages they offer and try to be at the next event that they're going to be at and enjoy drag racing through this Nitro Funny Car team. Also, I want to say thank you to the team because they're small guys and they helped this small guy get some great behind the scenes footage and enjoy a day at the races unlike I had ever been able to enjoy basically live out a dream come true to help a team with social media and be a part of the crew. Look, up next, some behind the scenes footage from Q3 and Q4 with the New Englander NHRA Nitro Funny Car Team. Next. How you doing? I'm John Mong. Um, I pretty much help mix fuel, uh, just pretty much a utility person, help out wherever needs to be helped. No specific duties, just come here and do this, I do it. Vince Marino, fuel, oil, and whatever else needs to be done on the car. Sal Marino, Adam, Connecticut, right cylinder head. Dan Harswick, Shell in Connecticut, bottom end. Christopher Monaco, one of the two clutch guys on the car and also the, one of the sponsors for this weekend at Maple Grove, uh, best painting in the Lehigh Valley. Adam Setterholt, East Lyme, Connecticut, clutch team. Scott Morrell, I'm the car chief the New England Pony Car. I'm Paul Lettenborough, I do hospitality and fan interaction. And we're married. Yay. I'm Ray Goodrich, the owner of the New Englander Pony Car. I own it, I build it. Build the engine, manage the people, and I'm from Middletown, Connecticut. Hi, my name is Paul Weiss. I'm from Derby, Connecticut. I'm the co-owner of the New Englander Nitro Funny Car, and we're at Reading, Pennsylvania at Maple Grove Racetrack. Keep it running.
I get it with him, the more I understand. Put the body down, tell him. Put the body down. We're doing a brave, we're 
me.
the catch. He's going to go on red when he makes a corner down here. That is absolutely nothing to fret about. They're not quite as long as they thought they would be. The car and brakes, the beauty of them is they don't fade when they get hot. The hotter they get, the better they work. Kicking things off. There are 17 funny cars here. Mike is the one who's not yet qualified. All they've got to do is get that New Englander to go down the racetrack. It's as simple as that. The bump spot, Mike McIntyre at 4.70. That's not exactly the most intimidating run anybody's ever seen as far as the bump spot goes in funny cars. But they have had three opportunities to do it and haven't been able to do it yet. They've really struggled a little bit with this new car. Got a great look on it, and they certainly wanted to say a big thanks to the folks that helped them get here, including Best Painting Lehigh Valley, who is on the nose. Now all they got to do is see if they can get them into the show for Sunday. If they do, Mike McIntyre is right behind them and will have an opportunity to bump them out. One run to decide whether or not you'll have a chance to race tomorrow. And they won't. Tire shake just off the starting line. Mike takes his foot off the throttle. Coast down at 839 and 81 miles an hour. So disappointing for Best Painting Lehigh Valley. Disappointing for the entire New Englander team. But that thing rattled pretty hard, and Mike Smith, being the veteran that he is, knew it was not going to be enough to get in. They'd have to come back and fight another day. Monday morning racer caught up here with Mike Smith, driver of the New Englander. Mike, look, rough weekend. Can you give me a run rundown of the runs? What was happening? It wasn't that rough. We, we had a plan installed from... Ray Goodrich, car owner, and Mike Rockmore, which has been, he has been ill, and so has his wife, and he's been from his hospital bed to his computer trying to make things work, get a program we went with. So it's really not a bad weekend. It's the plan that we wanted to be put in operation. I mean, I drive the car. I mean, I, I put, we put things forward through me sometimes, but we stuck with what we stuck with, and it hasn't worked yet. So we have other people helping us, like Ryan Elliott. My dad was just here, Paul Smith. Um, I mean, we, we, we have every, we have every, Access to a lot of information. I mean, this is a different car. We know what we've seen before, but that's that's not that's not what we wanted to do as a team, you know. And I'm at Grand Stewart because I'm driving it, but it's just not. With what's going on right now, it's not. I'm not physically able to pedal it. I mean, it hurts too bad. With what they've been, we've got some new rules, rule changes with the roll cage, with padding, and I'm real close. And it's just everything is just it, it's just hard to drive when it shakes. You know, when your brain hurts after it shakes, you don't want to get knocked out. It's like having 
it's like hit, it's like being being a fighter like Holmes or somebody or Frazier, you know, and you, you hit him and he hits you ten times as hard as you did, you're not gonna hit him again. You know, you're not gonna do that. So but what we do is we, we do it again, we didn't blow it up. You know, we could have went out there and pedal it and blew it up, which it's worse, probably not qualified and blow it up, so. But I have run 460 pedal in it, but that wasn't the Stratus body on it. That, this aero package is different, you know, so we just gotta keep working at it and figure it out. All right, now Mike, look, I know this isn't the only car you're in. Could you give us a quick rundown of your journeyman status and what all you're in? Uh, drive the Entertainer at home sometimes. There's two of them. Um, there's, a, there's a Corvette and there's a Challenger. Uh, I've driven my dad's car, the Rock Batteries car, before. Um, I've driven this car since 2011. Um, and uh, select events every year. Uh, hard guy's car, Dana Hart, um, out of Weymouth, Massachusetts. Uh, uh, Camco, custom automotive machine. Bill Dees, Nor'easter. We recently won a race. Um, we won a race in uh, Illinois, Savannah, Illinois. There's others, I forget. My head's a little jumbled right now. But awesome. Pretty yeah, much right. all of them right now. Right. You know, so. But uh, we, we work on it and see where it goes. That's awesome. All we can do. Is there any challenge from going to one car to the other car? Are they all very similar? The older I get, it's more of a challenge. Okay. You know, when I was younger, I could Hollywood and stuff. But we've made some changes lately. Like, we moved, we moved a lot of controls around in this car this weekend. We made improvements in that area. Um, you know, I mean, you can't get lucky every week and, and, and rely on me pedaling the car. And when you pedal, the car you take a risk of blowing it up you know and, and you know if it's you know you know when you get a little savvy over the years doing this since 1988 since driving since then dragsters and you know roaches and funny cars you, you get a little savvy and you know you know this thing's not not, not to be pedaled right now you know we're trying to figure something else out we don't need to keep pedaling cars and say you know, that's the way you race we want to start going on the racetrack more and having more representative runs awesome uh i have an understanding that you have a nickname of midnight is that correct uh yeah midnight mike is caused uh uh, we're usually always here to midnight, but the reason it came up is I really never had a nickname. Not like my brother Bodie. You know, he had that from when he was a little kid watching westerns with my dad. Um, we were Dana Hart's first built in the Hard Guys car, and he asked me, man, you got a nickname? You got a nickname? I'm like, oh, no, not that I can think of. And we were getting ready to leave, and it was like 11:30, and he went to lock the lock, and the tumblers fell apart. And we were there after midnight. I said, well, usually if we're doing something, usually we're there to midnight most of the time. So it's midnight, Mike, and it's done. All right. That was Dana's idea. All right. Well, guys, that's been Midnight Mike, driver of the New Englander here at the NHRA. Yeah, cool. Thank you, sir. All good. Monday morning racer caught up with Paul here in the New Englander pits after Q4. Paul, look, give me a rundown of the weekend and your thoughts on it. Well, it was a rough weekend. Uh, we had some severe tire shake on all four runs. We ended up not qualifying. At, uh, at a national event, that's always a little bit tough for us. So, you know, we had a good streak going there where we qualified at six of the uh, last six races. We qualified five times and we had three round wins. So we're on a, a good roll here and this really stumbled here. Uh, we tried some new stuff, it didn't work out. And that's the highs and lows of drag racing. We were here last year. We had the high of highs, we qualified. We won the first round against Courtney Force. Very exciting. And now we come to the low of lows where you don't qualify. And that's how drag racing is. It's hills and valleys. So, Paul, look, you've got some awesome programs for fans and sponsors to get involved with this drag team to help it get down the road. Could you, you give us a rundown on what you've got as opportunities? Well, what we have is we have uh, a lot of different opportunities for people who like to see the underdog succeed. Uh, we're an underdog team. We really depend a lot on our sponsors. We have uh, sponsorship programs running from $5,000 per race to $500 for different spots on the car. We also have something that's very unique in which we put people's names on the back of the window for a hundred dollars to get to have your name on the back of a nitro funny car and that's become very popular when i first tried doing it i said hey if i could get three or four people to do it that would be fantastic and we've had great success at some races we've had over 30 people do it and i'm humble because a lot of people do it race after race or event after event and they just want to see us succeed and it makes me very humble. The last thing you could do is buy a t-shirt. As dumb as that might sound, it does help out a lot when you, you buy a t-shirt and, uh, and help pay for something. 
Awesome, Paul, thank you. We hope to see the New Englander out soon and make the show and go rounds. Thank you very much. It was great talking to you, Lee.